finished our first lesson. I think it went pretty good. It went very well. A uh, couple hiccups on my part, a couple of wording things that I saw. Um, what are some things that you maybe I saw noticed though when you made a mistake, um, especially when you were explaining the assignment, you said to the kids, whoops, I made a mistake mm -hmm. and I need to clarify what you really are to do. And it's always good to admit when you make a mistake. Right. And then number one, just admit to it. Number two, it shows them that's a good role model right. to know that they can make mistakes. We make mistakes. Mm -hmm. So always admit to mistakes. Yeah, and that's very so important that when it comes to learning development mm -hmm. is that uh, making sure that the assignments are explained uh, because there are some students with IEPs, things like that, that that's right. need to have the, the assignment explained to them and they need extra time. Yeah. Um, and I don't want to explain something wrong and then right. have a student do it wrong. That's why I went in depth on the, the plan book back here. And yes. I, gave, I even gave an example of what I'm looking for. Good. So the parents can go, oh, that's what we're looking uh, for. If they need help. Yes, right. if they need help. And, and that was another thing you did well is, you know, the internet is not the only uh, resource they should be using. Right. That's when parents do come in and that's very important. Parents need to be a part of their education. Right. So this is a very good yeah. pull for the parents. So anything else that you could think of that was um, uh, right here? Side First notes? of all, um, I was like brainstorming. I think that's a good idea and to do it with right. the ABC. Um, I like that. I've used that before. It's just kind of fun for them. Uh, when you went over it, what was nice is you didn't do every single letter. Right. That's not necessary. Right. It's um, the idea to get them thinking. They don't right. need to have every single letter. You skipped from B to, I don't know what you skipped to, but it was it was very good. Right, and it's really good to see the levels of the what they're, they're thinking. Like for instance, some people might just put music where right. someone might put a specific type of music or even with the food, you know, the, the, yes. that was really good to see and that helps um, with, with the development and when you're seeing where things are going when you, with your class, you can see where your strong kids are or where yeah. maybe I need to do a little bit more time on this. Yes. Uh, so I think brainstorming and especially the ABC within the structure, That's a good I, think way that, to do I think that worked really well. Um, it did drag on a tad bit. I would shorten it personally. Um, like you said, I did. I think but I they did didn't enjoy it. Yeah, they didn't. You know, and they, they were engaged. Have ex if, uh, no, discussion. But towards the end, I could see that they were starting to get a little restless. And, yep, and that's you know, when that, you said, okay, that's it. I, I switched out of the, the thing. Yeah. Um, I would have liked to have a little bit more time to present the, the homework, but I think they understood what was going on. What you know what might have helped also, though? No, I think, I think this group will be fine. But what I liked that you did, and maybe you could do a little more of to keep them engaged, is I liked when you showed the Adidas Puma video. And that wasn't in the plan. That though, because of those girls in the back, we, we they t said something about Adidas and it triggered my head. So you remember? So that I was video. like, you know what? We yep. have media in the classroom. Why don't we just show? It's a two See, minute and video. See, that's what you have to be flexible yeah. too. And I thought that was really cool because now those kids will know the difference between where Adidas and Puma came from, and they're yeah. going to know that it was rival brothers. And I think that's a great thing about culture. But it, it, but what it is, it's a, it's a different form of instruction. And if you just sit there and lecture, or you just do, use discussion, it gets kind of boring. It does right. And it did break it up but a little bit. if you would have added maybe one or two other little tidbits, like a video, like a little uh, activity, okay. um, there's something that breaks it up too. So you could have done that. But what you learn is, as a teacher is what I do is I start with a lesson and I do it one year. And if I like it, I keep it. But each year I improve, even sometimes each class mm -hmm. I improve upon it so yeah. next year you might want to keep this in your, yeah. your back and pocket there, in my head I'm thinking of it. ways to make it better yeah. you know yeah. and that's what you do okay anything um, else another thing um oh skip letters oh you called on different kids a lot you said you know let, let's have some other kids I want to call on some kids that that haven't been called upon sometimes we have kids in class that constantly raise their hand and they are the ones that get called upon We've got to remember we have to have everybody involved. And my goal every class is to call on or really interact with at least once every 
kid. And I find so, that very important. That and you saw, I was like, someone new, someone new, and I yep, tried to choose someone that's what different. You need to do, and especially for you know, uh, for the learning differentiation and things like yep. that, and learning development. Some kids are shy. Some kids yep. don't want to raise your hand. I was even going to start calling on. I called on Sean. He wasn't raising his hand, right? So I made sure he got into it. Then he started to raise his hand after. But that's sometimes what happens. it takes that little bit of a push to get them involved. And so. another thing you can do in my other classes, I have some kids who just will not raise their hands. They're very quiet, very shy. So I'll allow them. I'll say, okay, let's call on like Macy. Macy doesn't say a word. Yeah. She looks at me and I said, well, come on up and tell me. Yeah. So she came up. She was real quiet and shy, but she came up and she gave me an answer. Yeah. And I said, wow, that's really good. Can I tell the class? And she goes, so I told the class. Yeah. And that just, that's a help, a step yeah. of getting to be comfortable volunteering in class. Perfect. So 